One of the things that attracts me to Rust is that it's a systems language that you can also comfortably write web apps in. So I wanted to start in Rust with something systemsy, but very small, something with bytes. This led me to implement part of a very simple networking protocol, UDP. UDP is user datagram protocol. Today, UDP is used to send data when speed and latency are more important than every single piece of data being delivered. Think use cases like streaming media and online games. Applications where dropping a message is less devastating than having to wait. We can see in the original RFC that there's not much to it. Perfect for dipping our toes into modeling data in Rust. This RFC does really take a turn though. Source port, two bytes, optional, cool. Destination port, two bytes, same deal. Length, totally expected. Length in octets, including header and data. Cool piece of trivia, old networking RFCs use the word octets because at the time, not all bytes were eight bits long. But then we have checksum. Checksum is the 16-bit ones complement of the ones complement sum of a pseudo header of information from the IP header, the UDP header, and the data, padded with zero octets at the end, if necessary, to make a multiple of two octets. Happily, this is usually something the operating system takes care of for us. So I'm just going to make it another two-byte long value. Though, perhaps I will expand later, because it is pretty cool. The result will be all ones if the checksum is correct. Anyway, then we have payload data octets. They can mean whatever we decide. What we're going to do is parse a collection of bytes into a collection of, hopefully, well-modeled fields. To describe the top level element here, we will use a struct called UDP datagram. A struct, short for structure, is a way to keep related data under the same roof. It's a named collection of fields, which can each have their own type. Structs come in a couple different flavors in Rust, but the main one we are going to use is very similar to the struct in C and in a bunch of other languages. The fields for this are pretty clear. They're the ones defined in the RFC. But what types should they have? I think port should be a type in itself. Here we can use another kind of struct called a tuple struct. I can imagine port accumulating behavior and only being used in certain contexts. But under the hood, it is a 16-bit integer. Length can just be a 16-bit number. It makes sense to me that a number should be a number. Checksum will be treated as bits, so we want to leave that as raw as possible. Then the payload itself feels a bit tricky. It can be anything. It's on the user of the protocol to define what these bytes mean. I don't have a concrete use case right now, so it feels right to have it be a vector of U8s. And consumers of this datagram could then write the conversion for whatever they need. They're actually unlikely to need any of the other parts of the datagram. In fact, if we were receiving UDP with a Rust standard library, we would only get back the length and the source address in addition to the payload. But this is make ups for learning. All right. Now that we have modeled our data, we can work on converting raw bytes into our struct. It turns out there is an idiomatic way to do conversions in Rust, and that is by using specific traits. The Rust standard library has two traits for conversion, from into for infallible can't miss conversions, and try from and try into for conversions that may fail. Traits are how shared behavior is defined across different concrete types in Rust. To use a bunch of long words, it is polymorphism without inheritance. I guess if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, you don't care if it descended from the great Ur duck. You only care that it is a thing that can quack. We'll be using try from because UDP datagrams can become corrupted in transit, and we want to signal to other imaginary developers calling this code that this conversion will return a result to enum. So they will have to handle the potential couldn't convert this error outcome. By implementing try from for UDP datagram, we will also get try into to call on bytes for free. 
the try into honestly looks nicer to me, but I haven't written enough Rust to really have an opinion. Also, I love anything that makes code more uniform and saves me from having to come up with a method name. This code will also be more compatible with other Rust code because we will be able to send our datagram to functions that only accept items with the try from trait bounds. The conversion code itself is pretty simple. We know we have a vector of bytes. The protocol tells us the order they are in. We just need to convert them into integers and wrap them in their type in the case of port. From BE byte stands for from big endian bytes. Big endian is when the most significant byte is on the left. It's the same way that we write numbers in decimal. Little endian is the opposite. For all standard internet protocols, the bytes are sent in big endian. In fact, this is also called network byte order, which is the opposite of what most computer CPUs utilize, which is the little endian byte order. There is something fun thinking about how we always are building on top of binary and determining what it represents. The very last thing we need to do is take the rest of the bytes as their own collection, the payload. Seasoned Rust enthusiasts will notice that we copied data here. If we were super slick, we wouldn't make a new copy of this data. But I am not slick. And if we didn't copy, we would have to worry about lifetimes, which is learning for another time. There we have it. We can now go from bytes to UDP. In the description of this video, there is a link to the program I wrote with tests. I would recommend deleting my try from implementation and writing your own driven by these tests. Once you complete the code, you can cargo run to decode the secret message.